Say good morning to everybody at home. Hi guys, good morning. So we're going to start parallel instead of Pilates stance. Come up onto your toes and balance. Feel your big toe metatarsals pushing down into the floor. Tighten your Frankenstein bolts. Good. Frankenstein bolts are on. Inner thighs are on. Pull navel to spine, spine to navel. Back X is on. Front X is on. Squeeze the spine as tight as you can. We're going to snow angel our arms up and bring them down behind the head, balancing. From there, we're going to slowly bring the heels to the floor. Don't lean back and come up. I'm going to have you do five more. I'm going to switch to music. So smooth and smooth. Good. And after that, we're just going to reach the hands back behind and then open up the chest and shoulders. We're going to bring it down to the mat, feet go onto the mat, and I'm going to have you go flat feet, knees together, hands draped on your shins, shoulders down, take tail between the legs, and push your thoracic spine back behind you. Good. Inhale deep into your back, pushing your ribcage back behind you like sails on a ship, and exhale. Inhale, rib cage back behind you like you're reaching your ribs to the mirrors behind you. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Hands reach, half roll back. Still warm up our spine and abs. Shoulders down, roll back. Just halfway. Use the abs, tighten the pelvic floor, your Frankenstein bolts in the sides of your glutes. So glutes are tight, really narrow the pelvis. And come back up, bend, 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 and back. And bend forward. Good, and again, bend. One more. Good. And this time we're going to roll all the way down. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Good. Squeeze those inner thighs, pelvic floor. Feel each vertebrae. Reach the hands, straighten the legs. We're going to do some arm circles. And Karen, just uh, modify any, anytime, you know, just bring the arm down if it's hurting. Okay, from there, reach those fingertips, reach those toes, stretch the body. And we're going to take the hands around to the side, reach to the toes, and up to the ceiling. Inhale into your back. Exhale, down and around. And again, inhale, reach up. Make them as even as you can. Exhale, down and around. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, down and around, and reach. Reverse it out to the side and up, and draw down. Out to the side and up, and reach down. And one more time, out to the side and up, and down. Bend the knees, hands go flat on the mat, and open up your shoulders. So I want you to press the whole back side of your shoulder against the mat. Keeping the back side of the shoulder open, imagine I'm standing on your armpits. So I'm going to take it for a ride here, and you're going to drag me up by shrugging the shoulders up. Good, the shoulders are down into the mat and then press all the way down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, inhale up, and exhale, hold down. Nose nods. Look behind you with your nose, and tuck the nose. And look behind you. And your head stays flat on the mat, and then look to your navel. Look behind you. Look to the navel. Look behind you. And look to the navel. So now add a shoulder shrug, and look behind you. Reach your fingertips, and nod your nose. And lift your head up, and your hands come up. 
So it's called an ab prep. Let's hold it here and come up a little higher for three, a little higher two, a little higher one, and roll back down. Shrug the shoulders up, look behind you. Inhale. Exhale, nose down, reach fingertips, hands glide up. Looking towards your navel, hinge higher three, squeeze inner thighs two, and one, and roll back down. Shrug the shoulders up, look back behind you. Take your nose to your navel, reach fingertips, lift the head, drop the rib cage in, breathing into the back, come up higher for three, two, one, and back down. And we'll go into the hundred. Lift the legs up in the tabletop, set your lower back down, knees directly over the pubic bone. Draw your navel to your nose. Sorry, draw your nose to your navel. <laughs> Lift the head up, looking towards your navel or mid quads. I'm going to push my legs out. Now, it depends on the strength of your lower abs. If you start to feel it in your back, pull your knees back in. Here we go. Reaching long arches, squeeze your glutes and tap. Big arms. Now, when you're doing this, I want you to do three or five inhales and then exhales, but I want you to have a small bow to your elbows. In, two, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Three, four, five, and squeeze the glutes. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, sixty, in. Three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, seventy, in. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Three, four, eighty, in. Two, three, four, exhale. Two, three, four, ninety, in. Three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four, hundred, and hold. Good. Bend and bring the hands to your forehead. Crunch up and press out. Bend in, hands to forehead, and press out. Hands to forehead, but you can rest your neck or you can split your neck with the hands behind the head, the spine. And press and bend in and press and bend in and press we'll do one more and bend in and press bend the knees in and lower the head down feet come down to the mat pelvic bridge pull tail between the legs use your lower abs to scoop and lift the tailbone off the mat and then we're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time coming off the mat coming all the way up i want you to shoot lasers through your knees Good, glutes are tight. You're gonna lift your left foot up two inches. Just two inches, hold the hips still, and hold for a count of five. Breathing four, three, two, one, and right. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Place it down. Pull tail between the legs, start at the throat and articulate down through the spine. Neck is relaxed. Spine opening up one vertebrae at a time as you place it down on the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, do it again. Pull tail between the legs. Use your core to lift the tailbone. And then come all the way up through the spine. And then shoot lasers through your knees. Now here to get your hamstrings to engage, I want you to draw your heels towards your glutes, not because you're moving them, but because you're just shifting your body by pulling on them. Good, lift right leg first two inches. Hold for five, rib cage in four, hands reaching three, two, one, and place it down. And lift two inches, five, breathing four, three, two, one, and place it down, squeeze glutes as tight as you can. Good. From there, we're going to keep it a flat back, so there's no articulation, and we're going to press down, flat back, use our glutes and lift up. Down, flat back, and lift up. Use those glutes like crazy, down, and up, and down, and up. Good, down, and up, and down, and up. Hold here, push through your knees, lift the heels up for 10, nine, watch the ankles don't sickle, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. From there, pull tail between the legs, start at the throat, and roll down, one open, working vertebrae. Open, 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 until you're all the way down. Hands go behind the knees, knees come up, and roll up. Rolling like a ball, lift your feet up, round your back, the rounder your back, the better. If you go flat, you'll end up on staying down. Lift the feet in balance. Put a big spoon on your back. Look towards your tailbone. If you want it harder, you can grab elbows. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, come up and balance. Good, and again, inhale back. Exhale. Now, the more you use or want to use the core, the slower you go. If your core is not quite there this morning, you can go a little faster, or you can open the hands up a little bit more. Good, we're doing 10 of these. Good. Good, Kim. Good, Karen. Yay, Ruth, you've got it, good. We're about eight. We'll call that one nine and ten. Good. Feet go forward. And we do some roll downs. How do you guys feel with that? Good. That opens up that spine. Activates everything. You should feel like exhilarated. Hands reach forward. Rib cage reaches back. And really reach your rib cage back deeper. Tighten your inner thighs and ground your inner thighs like you're trying to push your inner thighs down into the mat. Hands come up, but if you want it easier, if you guys at home, you can reach hands forward. You guys are all pretty tough here. And roll down, one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders are down, feel the spine, feel the spine. Reach the hands up, but don't flare the rib cage. Hide your rib cage from me and breathe into your back, inhale. Good, exhale, take it around. Good, and let's roll back up. A little bit different arms today, rib cage back, reaching. Good, and Karen, whatever you wanna do on that one side just to make it happy. Okay, hands come up if you wanna make it harder. Squeeze your glutes, pull your torso, ground your inner thighs, and roll back. Really push your legs out and away from you as you roll down. Hands reach. Snow angel arms out to the side. Good, chin comes in and curl forward. Bend, 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 bend. Good, nice. Turn, zip, and wrap the legs and inner thighs grounding at the same time. Sure, everything is on. Hands up or forward is fine too. Shoulders down. Good, pull torso. Narrow the pelvis and roll down. Hands reach. Good, snow angel. Chin in, rib cage in, curl up, and reach hands forward. We got one more to do. Hands can up or they can stay forward. It's up to you how hard you want to make it. And rolling down, inner thighs. Feel the spine opening up. Hands reach, hands come around. Good, chin in, and rolling up, rib cage in. Okay, we're gonna do roll backs in increments. So I have you take your hands up. We're gonna roll down to 50%. <laughs> I do. Hold there, go down to 75%. Good, then come up at 50%. <laughs> Watch Karen, she knows my verbiage pretty well even though Matt's new for her. Come up, good, back to 50%, good. And then take it down, even lower, 75%. Okay. Yeah. Two more of those, I got it for you. Your long leg is gonna go here. You're welcome. Good, working that. Those are increments. And if you know that you have a stiff, stiff spot, so 
then I would work it to that stiff spot. So if I knew that in the thoracic, say, I don't know, T11, if I get there and I'm really, really stiff, then I'm going to just hang out and make that connection in there and then bring it up. So that's what those increments are for. Because I might say 50 and think, 50, I'm going to go right at that, you know, thoracic 11 and hang out because you're turning those muscles on. And then all of a sudden, it won't be stiff anymore. You can really bend it. When you're ready, feet go wide. Sit up as tall as you can. And Kim, you can also ride the Clydes down, or you can bend the knees slightly. Yeah. OK. I have a mic problem today. Here we go. Sitting up as tall as you can. So look at my back. See how it's flat here, and it's not scooped? So you can be here. Anyone can be here bent knee, but try to be straight leg. And if you can't, then go back to the bent knee. But keep that body flat so you're not sinking. Pull torso as tall as you can. Hands come out to the side. Good. Now you're not going to let your hips move at all. You're going to hold them still in the vice grip. Twist to the left. Twist for three. Twist further two. Twist further one. Grow as tall as you can. Use your abs and come back to the center. To the right. Twist. Grow taller. Twist. Grow taller. Twist and back up to the front as tall as you can. Bend the knees if you feel your hip flexors. And three, grow taller two, grow taller one, and back to the front. And again, and three, good, and two, and one, and back to the front. And three, and two, and one, and back to the front. And three, grow taller two, one, and back to the front, saw. We're going to take it over. We're going to bring our pinky finger towards our pinky toe. Suck your rib cage back. So I'm pulling your rib cage back behind you. Deep, 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 scoop, 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 tail between the legs. Now press that left hand down behind you. Good. And really reach. Stack up, still looking to the left. And come back to the front. Twist. Pinky finger towards pinky toe. Reach, pull rib cage back. Scoop, 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 scoop. Rib cage back, back, back. Tail between the legs. Really reach that right hand back. Stack up. Use your abs and back to the front. So it's basically inhale. Sorry, that was exhale. Inhale here. Exhale up. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Exhale, stack. And really work on your reaches. Rib cages, fingertips, reach and stack. And back to the front. And twist. And really reach. Rib cage, pull tail, pull tail, pull tail, reach those fingertips. And up. Abs back to the front. And twist. And over, reach. And up. And back to the front. And over. And reach. Good. And up. And back to the front and rest the arms. Okay, we're going to use our eye gaze to work on our flexibility. So, stay where you're at. Okay, <clears throat> so when we have our hands out, we're going to do that same thing again, spine twist. And then we're going to take our nose to that back hand. So say this is my back hand here. I'm going to show you here so you can see my eyeballs. My eyeballs are going to go from the hand here all the way. I'm trying to reach this hand over here. So it's right, left, right left. Now what you don't want to do is go right center. Right center. <laughs> you want to go all the way over. And it should hurt. Like your eyes should feel a little bit strained. The more we do that, the more we tie our muscles together with our eyes and our body, the more flexibility we have. So, sitting up nice and tall, you can bend your knees, or for us here, you can even hang the feet off the mats if you want. Hands up, grow as tall as you can. Twist to the left. We're going to pulse for three. Pulse for two and hold. One. Take your nose to your back hand. Don't let your sit bones move. So everyone's looking towards their back hand or left hand. Eyeballs right. Eyeballs left. Eyeballs right. Eyeballs left. And right. And left. And right. And left. And right. And left. Grow tall. Right. And left. Right. And left. Last time right. And left. Hold there. Okay, wiggle your left fingertips so everybody knows which direction we're going. Twist more to your left. And back to the front. Good, relax your shoulders for a second. Everybody feel that? Yes. It's a trip, isn't it? How's your arm doing? 
Is that okay? Okay. Hands out to the side, sitting as tall as you can. Twist to the right, go as far as you can. Take a measurement. Where are you on this measurement? Okay. From there, eyeballs to the right and left. Right and left. Right, left, taller, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Last time, right and hold. Wiggle your right fingers. Good. There you go. And twist all the way to the right. And back to the front. Did everybody get a good release? Okay. We're going to lay on our stomachs. And we're going to go fingertips underneath our shoulders. Good. You can draw shoulders down the back. And I want anywhere, if you're little, nine inches between your ankles, if you're tall like me, you can go like 18 inches, but really pull tail between the legs. Good. From there, forehead can come down. We're going to pull navel off the mat, rib cage off the mat, and shoulders down the back, and lengthen the neck. Squeeze the glutes and lift the glutes up. Feet come off the mat anywhere from three to six inches. And release it down, and release everything. Pull tail, squeeze in the glutes, pull tail, pull navel, pull rib cage, shoulders down the back, lengthen the head, tighten the glutes, and lift. We're going to lift 15 times, and one. Lift the legs, two, good, and three, pull tail, four, and five, six, seven, shoulders down, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, feet come down and release. Pull tail, pull navel, pull ribs off the mat. So there's a, a little mouse house underneath your whole ab area. Shoulders down, lengthen through the crown of your head. Glutes are tight. They should be tight automatically here. And we're gonna press into our hands and lengthen our neck. Now, as you bring the head up, rib cage, tail, everything is sucked up and in. And if you can, you can either hold there, or if you want, you can go straight arm. Good, shoulders down. Good, and as we go down, we're gonna really lengthen through that neck. Pull tail, rib cage is in. Good, forehead comes down, and as that forehead comes down, the navel stays off and the rib cage stays off and the shoulders are down. Good, and relax. We'll do that again. How are we doing, Cam? Okay. So see how your shoulders want to round forward here? Counteract, so really turn on that back. I want you to pull the shoulders down and back, pull tail between the legs, navel, ribs, even more shoulders, lengthen through the crown of the head, tight, tight legs. Good, as you lengthen the head off the mat, keep that neck straight. Straight line following your spine. You can push and hover here, or you can press all the way up. Good, shoulders down, rib cage in. Nice and deep, don't sink at all. Good, elbows come down close, shoulders back. Really reach the crown of your head. Good, and right here as you land, try to pull rib cage and navel back off the mat. We're gonna go into a GI Joe swim. So you're gonna take your arms forward. Karen, if you can't, just do the one arm. I'm gonna go here. Is it feeling better? Oh, good. Okay. From here, pull tail between the legs, rib cage off, foreheads nice and long, squeeze your glutes, lift your glutes up like six, nine inches off the mat, if you get that flexibility, and then lift the arms off the mat. Keeping your rib cage in, swim, G.I. Joe. Good. We'll do eight more. Seven, six, pulling tail, long necks, five, four, Three, two, one. Hands come down underneath. Come up onto your knees and hands a quadruped. So shoulders are down. Lengthen your tailbone away from you. Rib cages knitted together in the front. We're gonna reach left arm, right leg and balance. Now as you're balancing, if you ever wonder the connection of eyes and muscles, I want you to look down at the mat and then take your eye gaze to left and right, left, right, left, right, and see if you can feel your body try to follow. Okay, so that's how the muscles are attached to the eyes. Wherever the eyes go, our muscles go. 
So you want your eyes now strong and steady, fierce, shoulders down, and lift the right glute up eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hand comes down. Good, right hand, left leg. Shoulders are down, rib cage is knitted together. Holding here, eyes left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. You can almost feel a wag in your body. Bring it center, eyes strong, shoulders down. Lift the left glute up eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it down. Curl the toes under and sit back on your feet as much as you can. So if you guys at home, everyone's pretty straight here, but at home, if you've had a knee replacement and you start getting to the side here, I want you to stay straight and just go as centered as you can. Stretch open those feet. Can everyone feel their feet? Yeah. Readjust, tuck the toes a little bit more and sit back. Stretch out the fascia of our feet, the plantar fascia that's on the bottom all the way into those toes, stretching. Look at that, you're right there. I'm getting there. You are, so let's try this. Are you all the way down? You're all the way down. Kim, are you all the way down resting? Oh my, no. Try to rest, can you rest? No. Okay, I want you to do this. I'm gonna go down, go eyes up, eyes down. Eyes up, eyes down, eyes up, eyes down. Eyes up, eyes down. Eyes up, eyes down. Eyes up, eyes down. Eyes up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, and release. Can you feel the shift a little bit? Okay, come back in the quadruped. You're gonna take your right knee directly under your pubic bone, so you're now making a tripod. So try one, two, and three. Left leg reaches out behind you. The hips are gonna to try to keep as parallel to the mat as you can. And you're gonna lift your left hand up. Make sure your right hand is directly under your chest. So Karen, instead of being here, go here. So right here. Um, left, left. Left, left. Yeah, left arm, left leg. <laughs> Pulse the glute up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The challenge is to get out to the side for eight, seven, six, there you go, five, Three, you're doing good, Kim, two. Keep doing it, one, and bring it down. Good, so remember, okay, for me, for balance, it's like someone's holding my rib cage up, I'm knitting it together, and I almost feel fingertips on my ribs, and that helps me. My eye gaze also is really fierce and strong, and so that's what you want is a strong, strong eye gaze. Your hands are directly underneath your chest. Let's shift left knee underneath the pubic bone. And then from there, we're gonna go right leg. Right arm, good. Shoulders are down, rib cage knitted. Try to get the hips parallel, but the foot up as high as the tailbone, and long necks. Lift the heel up for eight, seven, six strong eyes, five, four, three, two, one, and out to the side. Woo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it back in. How is that? Good. Okay. So if you find it's really hard to sit back on your heels, this is a good stretch to do. Nice and straight to open up those knees. And it's tough on the knees and it's also good on the feet. But the eye gaze up and down will help you. What's that? And you'll find that like, if you reach back and touch your spine eye erectors, that you might have one stronger than the other. Can you feel the difference between the size of your spine eyes? Yeah. Okay, so if you have an inadequate spine eye erector, you would lift on that side. So say if this side was like string and this side was really thick, then I would do lifts on this side. Or you could just do leg lifts if it's too much. So you can kind of do this combo, you can go straight or bent to get those to turn on. And I have a couple people working on those right now to get balanced. 
Okay, push-ups. You're not gonna push up. We'll come down the plank and see if you can plank. Okay. Which, you know, just down to this position here. Okay, so let's start out on the plank. The correct plank is hands directly underneath our chest. Never out. So go, so Karen, instead of there, chest over hands. Even more. <laughs> That's okay. Try elbows. Elbows down. You guys, go ahead and pull the plank. How's that? Okay. Okay. So, you know your series of five? Do you remember your series of five? I'm going to have you do series of five. Okay. For everybody else. So, you're going to, yeah, just no, do a ser series of five right here. Okay. This will be a good concentration for us. If she's doing her series of five, we are going to be doing our push-ups. Feet come back, let's walk back, stretching for a count of four. So single legs, there you go. Good, stretch straight legs. If you can, reach your palms to the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Curl up. One vertebrae at a time, dropping shoulders down. Come up onto your tippy toes and balance. Eyes are strong. Heels come down, pull tail between the legs, and roll down through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Feet now go parallel. Because when I walk out, I love to take advantage of the stretch right here. Stretch, stretch, it's huge stretch. Stretch, pushing into it, and stretch. Okay, from here, I want chest directly over hands. If you need to, you can drop to your knees. This is what you have going on this week. And you're lower down for three, lower down two, lower down one, and press up. Lower down three, two, one, and press up. Lower down three, two, one, and press up. Lower down three, two, one, and press up. Good, walk back. Stretching. Stretch the calves and hamstrings for four. And stretch them for three. Stretch them two. Heels reaching, reaching, reaching. And one. Stretch, hollow out the abs, shoulders down and roll up. Look forward, eyes are fierce and strong. Come up onto your toes. Heels come down, hollow out the abs, rolling down. Don't you love push-ups? This is my first one. Is it? I mean, my first time I actually stayed on my knees. Yay! I didn't go all the way down. It's, I didn't go all the way down either. I didn't, there's no t nose tapping for me today. Walk out. Four, stretch. Three, stretch. Two, and one. Good. And lower down. Three, two, one, and press up. Lower down. Three, two, one, and press up. Lower down. Three, two, one. One, and press up. Lower down, heads tall, heads tall, heads tall. And press up. Back for four. Back for three. Did you do double leg tap? Two. Did you do um, bend both legs in, hands in? Double arm, double leg stretch? Yeah. Okay. Did you do straight leg tap the shin and drop? Tap, tap, and reach. So arms touch your left shin, straight legs, scissor legs. Come on. Now go both legs to the ceiling. Good. Take your hands, cup them, touch your left shin, tap, tap, and then reach overhead as you scissor the legs. And just so only tap left. So it's tap left, left, and reach. Oh, just left. Left and reach. Left and reach. Keeping the hinge. Come up onto our toes. And reach. And scissor the legs as you reach. Scissor. Tap, tap, and scissor. And bring it back down. Hollow. And roll down. So after about 10 on the left and 10 on the right. Walking back down our legs. Feet are parallel. And press into the stretch. Into the stretch. Into the stretch. Into the stretch. Good. Booties down. You can go knees down if you need to. But Kim, look at my head. You want it here and not to fall at all. Lower down three. Good. Lower down two. Lower down one. 
and press up. Lower down three, two, one, and press up. Lower down three, two, one, and press up. Walk back for four, and three, and two, and one. Stretch, try to get the palms flat on the mat. As close as you can, take a good measurement. Bend the knees, roll it up. Come up onto your tippy toes, balance. Eyes are fierce and strong. Heels come down and walk it forward. Okay, fifth position. Hands out. Then you're gonna try to lower yourself to the mat. Now, catch yourself with the bars if you need to. You don't want anyone falling off the mats. At home it's great because you're on a floor instead of up off the floor. Bringing it down. And your goal is to be able to just reach and not fall. Just like that. <laughs> I still have a kathunk. Open leg rocker. So easy would be here. A little bit harder would be a little bit more straight leg. Hardest would be big toes and straight. I'm gonna go ankles today, straight legs. Open the chest, so I'm going flat back. Then I'm gonna round, look over my tailbone, like a rainbow. Come back, come up slow, and drop shoulders and attitude. <laughs> So I'm C curving. If we're not doing the ankles. You can go behind the knees. You can go right here. Right. Pull torso open, attitude. And back. And again. And then try not to use any momentum if you want to make it harder. And we're doing 10. <laughs> it's hard. It's uh, definitely the core that brings you up. <sighs> Just like that. <laughs> okay, from there, we're going to go feet forward. We're going to do around the world. So, if around the world, I'm going to do some side reaches and side rollbacks. And then, if your back can't do around the world, then you'll just stay with C-curve, C-curve, C-curve. And that, I'll do some C-curves right now. So we're going to bring both hands forward. We're going to take the right hand behind her head, and we're going to C-curve. I'm pulling tail between the legs. I'm squeezing my glutes. I'm narrowing my pelvis. I'm not plopping into it. So it's tight and reach back. And then we'll C-curve overhead, hollow pull tail. Right hand reaches, left hand behind the head. Good, and come halfway up, crunch. Turn on those inner thighs. Good, squeeze the glutes and go back down the right. And we're gonna do a C curve here. Good, and to the left. And forward. Kim, if you want, you can use the strap. C curve back. And then, here overhead C curve. Get everything to shake. Right hand reaches. Is it the arm? Yeah. Just hold, just hold it here. So mimic the move with your torso, but don't do the arm. So you don't have to do the arm at all. Okay. Now, so totally ignore when I say both hands up or anything. Just you remember me for two years being like this as I did everything or this. Um, Bart saw me the other day, wrapped my hand around my rib cage. He said, your arm's still hurting? I said, no, it's just have it now, because I'll you know, stand and teach like this. Okay, so now to make it harder, if you want to make it harder, if you guys at home, if you want to make it harder, C-curve, roll back. So I'm C-curving, I'm on now, there's no flop to this. I'm on, and then I'm gonna go flat back to C-curve. And forward. C-curve. Flat, C-curve, 
and halfway forward, deep, 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 all abs, don't release them, and back. And remember, when I go flat back, you guys can say C curve if you want. It's definitely an option, flat back. And over. There should almost be a bit of a shudder to your breath. Reach, good, and back. And up, flat back if you can. Pull it flat back. How are we doing, Cam? Not your abs. Right hand, do a little bend to your knees then. And take it forward and back. Flat back or round back in the center, it's up to you. And over left, good. And we're gonna actually just contract here eight times. So eight and seven and six and five, and four, and three, good. and two, and one, back, flat back or C curve center, and over, and then come up, eight, crunch, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Okay. From there, we're going to come onto our elbows here. I'm not cold anymore. You're not cold anymore? I can turn off the heat? Yes. We are our own heaters going. Okay, so you, get, so you can be down if you want on your hands. Okay. They could be here if you need to be. The rest of that shoulder. Okay, or if it's up to it, you can bring more into it. Okay, shoulders are down, tail between the legs, rib cage up and in. You can't tell with me because I've got to point rib cage deep, deep, deep in. And then what we're going to do is go right leg, flex, point, flex, and heighten the glutes in reach. Shoulders down. Flex, point, flex, good, down. Squeeze the glute as you reach it down. Can you guys all feel the glute squeeze? Hamstring, flex, point, flex, and squeeze the glutes like crazy. And flex, hamstring, point, flex, reach and squeeze the glutes. Flex, point, flex, and reach, good, and flex, point, flex, and reach. Good, and flex, point, flex, and reach. Good, and flex, point, and flex, and reach. So Karen, you can keep it there if you want, but we're gonna lace our fingertips in the small of our back. Here. Okay, you guys, for just a moment, I want you to try to take your elbows, your fingertips are laced, and push them down to the mat. Kind of a weird stretch here. Pull tail between the legs. What was that? Your elbows. I was like, my shoulders. Your elbows. Oh, elbows. Elbows to the mat. I'm not sure what I said now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to look left. <laughs> Heels come together, but knees are slightly apart. We're going to flex both feet. So bend, flex, point flex, reach the legs, squeeze the glutes, pull tail between the legs, reach the hands to your heels. Ooh. Adjustments are for free. Good, now lengthen the back of your neck, come up a little higher, bring it down, look to the right. And we're going to flex the feet, flex, bending the knees, keep the heels together and point and flex and reach. Squeeze, lengthen the neck, come up as high as you can, pull tail between the ribs, cage in, and flex, and point, and flex, and reach, and bring it down, and flex, and point, and flex, and reach, 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 shoulders down, necks long, good, come up a little higher if you can, good, and flex, and point, and flex, 
and reach. If you want to for fun, you don't have to. You could take it from here and grab one ankle, other ankle, tail between the legs. This is a huge hip flexor stretch. Every feel the hip flexors, stretching, push away with your legs. Keep tail between the legs, rib cage sucked up and in. Next long, just give it a little rock. Good, long, it's okay, as long as you get that stretch and release. Good, press up, pull tail between the legs, mad cat the spine all the way up to the ceiling. From there, keep the roundness of your spine, like I'm pulling your tail with a rope to the alleyway. You're gonna try to sit down but you're keeping the tail between the legs. So it's not a child's pose at all. It's called a shell stretch. Good. Let it release down. Now you can go in the child's pose and release it. In this position here, I like to spread the legs just slightly and let the body drape down between my legs. Reach the hands and release the neck. A little bit more of yoga. Hands come down, press the toes under, press back, downward dog. Open shoulders, like someone's peeling your shoulder pits up to the ceiling. Drop the body down between the arms and reach. You can sit back on the heels again if you want. You can sit back on the heels and stretch that way. There you go. And then we're going to pedal the feet, pedal the feet. Pedal the feet, pedal the feet. Good, and pedal the feet and bring both down and stretch. Push into the hands, tailbone to the sky, rib cage up into the body, open the armpits. Press the body through your arms and stretch. Walk back six inches and press the heels to the mat and stretch. Good, bring it down. We're gonna do mermaid. Facing roof direction. And so right foot in front, left leg back. Can you, can you see me in the side mirror through the camera? Okay. Hands go behind the head, wherever you want. Karen here, you can be here. Grow as tall as you can. At the same time, try to push the left sit bone down. Can you guys all feel that stretch? Okay. From there, we're going to take the elbow to the left. Grow up nice and tall, elbow down, touch the mat, and come up. If your elbow's refusing to go to the mat, that's fine, just go to where you can. Keeping that left sit bone, trying to reach the mat. Mine's still probably about two inches off. And left, and again. Left. Left. How are we doing, Kim? Okay. Good. Karen? Good. Now see how the head wants to go forward a little bit? L look up and over the fence. Ruth, it looks good. Good. And bring it up. Switch legs. Grow as tall as you can. You might find that you have more flexibility on this side or less flexibility. Try to push that right sit bone down, hands behind the head. Good. Let's go to the right first. Chin is up. Grow tall. Use your abs. Try to make them shake here. How tall can you grow while pushing that right sit bone down? Take it over to the left. Tap the mat if you can and lift up. Good. And over. Tall. Good. If your knees are hurting, you can always straighten the leg in front of you like you're sitting in a chair. Just an option. Right sit bone down. Tall. <laughs> Chin is up. One more. And lift up. Good. Okay, we've got two minutes left. Some teasers. Let's see what we have left for abs. How are we doing? <laughs> a little bit of a butt knuckle cramp? Just my leg. Okay. 
Okay, from there, we're gonna go hands behind the knees and we're gonna take our weight this morning. So we weighed ourselves, and say we weighed 140 pounds or 150 pounds or whatever we weighed. We're gonna put that around our ankles. And then I'm gonna feel that weight counterbalance out and lift up. Good. Bend the knees, C curve, look towards your navel and roll back down. Getting that spine to bend. Good, now you can keep it there, hands behind the knees, or you can use the counterbalance, but not use the hands. Inhale here, exhale, and come up. Turn, zip, and wrap. Reach long, long arches. Bend the knees, shoulders down. Look towards the navel and roll down slowly. If you want it a little harder, hands come up overhead. Inhale here. Now pick whatever progression works for you. Good, and come up, teaser. Good, bend the knees. Now if you want to take it one step further, push the legs out and away and the hands overhead and the heels and head hit the same exact time. Karen, just watch that shoulder, bring it down here. Bring it around, snow angel up, lower back presses down, push the legs out and come up, teaser. These are teaser progressions. Good, drop the legs for three and two and one. Drop the arms for three and two and one. Aren't you glad I waited till the end? And work that lower back, pull tail between the legs. If you're reaching out, head and heels hit the same time. <laughs> How are we doing, Karen? Good. You, you, can always, you can always just keep it taped here in your mind the whole time. Just take the hands out to the side, scoop, lower back comes down. Chin comes in, roll up, teaser. Good, three legs, three, two, one, three arms, three, two, and one. Reach attitude and roll it down. Good. From there, take the left leg up, hands behind the knee or behind the leg. Try to reach your long right leg. If it's too much, you can always bend. And we're going to flex, stretch and point, and flex, and point, and flex, shoulders down and point and flex and point. Take your right hand to the outside of your left leg. Keep that left hip down and take it over. And we're stretching out the side of the leg, the IT band. Now the more that you push your left hip down and pull the right leg over, the more stretch you'll get. Oh, we could just stay here and switch legs. Right leg comes up, grab behind the knee and flex and point and flex and point. Still staying in that stretch in your hamstring. You can pull a little closer to you if you need to. And take it over to the side, pushing the right hip down. Ooh, and stretch. Whatever feels better in the stretch. You could flex the foot, you could pull the outside of the foot back, getting that plantar fascia, whatever you want here. But I really want you to focus on the hamstring and the IT band. Telling your body it's good to stretch. Loving on our bodies. Good. Hands behind the knees, roll it up into standing. <sighs> roll out the ankles, roll out the knees and the hips. Good, shoulders. One small jump, one big jump. And you guys are done. <laughs> nice work. Thank you, your poor shoulder and arm. Say, say goodbye to everybody at home. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.